Hello, welcome to Board Games with Niramas. I'm Joseph and I'm here today with Draco. It's time to play some Orbital Conflict, a game designed by two fellow Swedes, Philip Cranberry and Kim Astor for Steel Cave Studios. And yeah, we are really happy to be able to bring you this. We have tried this out a bit, uh, well at least I have, I don't think Draco was there at the time, but I tried out the prototype uh, some, you know, some year ago. And then finally the game is here and we're going to bring you a run through to show you how the game runs. So in Orbital Conflict we are both building up our space stations out here on the board using our cards. We are going to try to sort of, well some, there's a lot of conflict obviously. We are going to destroy each other's modules and exp expansions on the sta space stations. And the goal of the game is to reach the most points at the end of the game. The game will end when this deck of cards runs out. And this game plays from two to four players, but in a two player game, you use half of the cards in the game. There's also like a tournament mode where you get like the exact cards that you should have in here. Now I just dump this randomly. We also have some investors coming to perhaps invest in our space stations if we can meet their requirements. And if we do, then they will provide points for us as well. But let's just start playing and you'll see how the game runs. So I have the initiative, I am the first player and I have my starting hand. So I have five cards. Some of the cards are sort of like this one. It's only a sort of action card. If there's a white text on black background, then that's something you can do. And it says in which phase you can do it. You can do something by discarding the card. The actual space station cards, they have, well, some of them have a black text on white background. And that's something that in effect that is going to happen all the time as long as it's out, or it could be uh, a one-time thing as well, or like an action that you can use. Like this card, I could either discard it in the draw phase to draw one extra investor card, or I can play it and have it in my space station, install it. And in that case, in the main phase, I may look at the top one card of the draw pile. So they are multi-use cards. And the really cool thing with this game is the side here where we have either producing resources or demanding resources and providing shields. But you'll see how that works when we start playing here. I'm going to the first thing I'm going to do on my turn is that I'm going to draw two cards. And I'm going to draw two investor cards and place them in front of me. And then I see what these investors demand. So like the rocket store here, they will support me or sponsor me if I can provide two rocket symbols, but then they will give me two points. The earth view here demands six different, you know, six crew symbols, and that will give me four points. Another thing I could do on my turn with these is also to send one of these over to Draco because when we build up our points sort of tableau, we can have the ma a maximum of three cards in that. Let's say I had three cards already, like this, for example. And then I had four, two and two points. But then if I get another one, it has to come in from one of the sides. And if you think about it like a pipe, it will push out whatever is on the other side. So in this case, Draco might want to send this over to me if I can you know, meet this demand in order to push out this four pointer. So well, you'll see more of that as we keep going. But for now, I draw my cards, I have my investors. And now Draco will do the same. So you sort of play simultaneously, which is something I really like about this game. Draco will also get his cards here. This is going to be a bit tricky for me to simulate since it's hard for Draco to hold the cards, as you know. Oh, Draco got the the power gone, it requires 10 power being produced, but that will also give him four points. Oh, we got another big one. Okay, so I don't think Draco will be able to cash in any of those in this first round, but we'll see. I'm going to start by myself here, and I can either play a card as a new module in my space station, or I can play it as an extension to an already existing module. But I have to you know, consider these requirements here I could also play a card face down like this, and that would be providing one energy and a shield if it's on its own. Because the thing is, let's say I play this colony, I think. That's a good one to start off with. Now this requires me to have three energy. It gives me one point. It requires me to have three energy, and it gives me three of these crew symbols, one rocket and one space symbol or you know planet symbol, and also four shields. But that is if it's on top. In my, in my module here, I could play something else on top of it like that. And that means that now it's the top card that is active. So I don't have to pay all this and I don't get all that. I only get what is seen on the side here and on the top card. 
Uh, let's see, I do need, I need three, okay, I'm going to, I think I'm going to go for a strong, strong module here at the start. Let's do it like this a little bit more. And I'm going to play this, these two solar panels like this to provide four energy for me. So that will sort of pay for or power up this part of the station that requires three energy. This will also provide me with all these symbols and a point and four shields, which is really good. And I can defend myself from Draco's attacks when those come. I could keep building on this or I can do something else. I do have a missile as well, which is like the strongest card in the game. And discard this in the combat phase to declare an attack with six attack. That's really strong. I'm going to hold on to that. I think I will put in just to be safe. Oh no, no, I don't need to. I have, I'm producing four energy and I'm using three. So I could actually do this and build up another uh, module here, which has two shields. It has an extra shield from this card here. And it has uh, given me one point and require one energy, but I this module here can provide for this one as well. So I think that's a good way to go. And then I have the special ability in main phase. I can look at the top one, one top card of the draw pile, so I know what's coming, which is good if I'm going to be the first player, of course. Next up, hmm, I'm going to save these cards for now. So I think I'm done with that. But at the same time here, Draco was doing the same thing. He was building something up here with his cards. Let's see what he has. He has a failure. This is really good. This, he can use this. Um, to prevent an attack if I attack him, and that could be good for him. He needs, oh, he has an impact. That could either rearrange my investor stack, or he can declare an attack with two, atta with two attacks with one strength each. I really have good shields now. So, well, he does have a missile. Oh, that's nasty, okay. <laughs> so I think Draco, he doesn't really have that. He had a lot of action cards in his hand. But he wants to build up something. So, and you can only play at the maximum two point cards, or you can get two points in the same round or in the same turn. I think Draco is going to go for. Hmm. Let's see, he can't meet the demands. That's something you need to consider. Can you meet the demands of these? I, he can't do that. Not right now, at least. It has two failures. I think he's going to use this sabotage to provide one energy. And then he needs one more energy and he's going to use one of these failure cards. So by doing that, by playing it face down now, he has provided two energy for the need here. And that gives him four crew members. I think that's a pretty good deal for Draco there. He has his thing ready. He's going to save these cards. Now we can also claim these if we can. Now I can't claim anything because I have three crew members. This requires six and two rockets. I only have one. So sadly, I can't claim anything there. Same goes for Draco. That's a lot of symbols. This is any symbol. The question marks, you can just, you know, have 10 symbols. He has three, he has six, but yeah. So nobody could claim anything. And now it is time for the combat phase. And in the combat phase, some of these station modules provide combat or like attacking ability uh, with, with strength in it. But none of us have that right now. So since I have the initiative, I go first and I could play one of my cards. Of course, I could play the Sabotage to discard this card, declare an attack with two power, and this attack cannot be prevented or redirected. Oh, I think I'll do that. Yeah. Because Drac only has one shield on his module. So let's do that. I'm playing the Sabotage. This attack cannot be stopped. I don't think the failure either can stop it. Prevent one attack, but this says this attack cannot be prevented. Okay, so Draco can't stop it. And since I, I'm i coming with two, I'm attacking him with two strengths and his... Uh... Okay, so there was a slight error here when I attacked Draco with two damage. That's above his threshold of armor, but that means that he should lose two cards from the bottom, taking two damage, not lose the whole uh, module. So let's get back to it, but remember that was a bit error there. He only has one shield, that means that well, if, if I would attack him with one strength, the bottom card of his uh, module would be destroyed. But since I have more than his shields, the whole thing is destroyed. So Draco lost his whole... Uh, oh, that was sad for him. But you know what? It's Draco's turn to fight back if he wants to. And he is going to... He, he's not happy about that. So he's going to fire a missile at me. 
Sad for him though, I have my own missile and the missile can be discarded to prevent an attack from a missile on target module in any PlayStation. He was attacking my big module here of course, but these take each other out basically. So he shot a missile, I shot it down and now we go to the next round. Draco will have the initiative and be the first player. He will draw two cards. He will get his investment cards. So this one says that he needs two crew member or two of these uh, planet thingies. Hmm, he might be able to pull that off. I'm going to draw two cards. I didn't have any cards left in hand. And I'm going to draw two investors. And this is for one crew member. I can match that at least. And that's for two attack. I don't have that right now. We'll see what cards I brought here. But let's do Dra Draco's turn first. Uh, let's see if he can do any of these now. He did get some. Oh, now we got two rockets. Well, that's not going to help. Hmm. Now here's an attack. So he would like to get this out like this because then he would have an attack. But this requires a rocket, which he can get here. The problem is, though, that he needs... This is the puzzle of the game, which, you know, is fun. He needs energy. He can get that by just, you know, flipping this like that. The problem is he can't get crew. He needs crew as well. I could actually do this, I guess. Could do this. That way he can get these and that gives him one attack. The problem is one attack is not going to do that much for him since I have all these shields. Ah, uh, hmm. Poor Draco. But he has to do something. He needs to start and he can't pick a wow. He really got a bad start here. Which is of course luck of the draw, it's always with the card game. But he's going to play it like that. He, he gets something going at least. Uh, maybe next time he will have some goals that requires uh, having a rocket. Then he can cash that in. Over to me, I am looking at these. Oh, this is a lot of the reactor, a lot of energy here. And during any player's phase, if destroyed, deal one damage to each module you control. So this is a bit risky to play. Because if I play it out here and Draco destroys it, all my modules might take damage. And I got the habitat. But looking at my goals, I can I can already cash this in. Hmm. I don't know. I can look at Draco's hand if I discard this, but I don't think I want that. Not right now. I think I'm pretty happy. I'm gonna save these cards for later. And I am going to cash in this. So this goes to my um sort of points tableau over here. Where I can have three cards, as I explained earlier. And I could take this because I had the crew member that was required. And this is worth one point at the end of the game if this, if this is how the game ends. And so now I have two points in total. And this is quite a low scoring game, at least in my experience, in two player mode. So yeah, I'm doing good here so far. Draco, though, he's not doing that good. He can't take any of these, which is sad. And now we go to the uh, combat phase. So Draco is first to act. He has one attack, but that's not going to hurt any of my stations. So that, that's also why I didn't really want to put out any of these, because I only, they would only give me one shield, and that wouldn't be enough to protect me. So he can't do anything like that. I can't really attack either. I could, in the main phase here, before the combat phase, I could have looked at the top card of the draw pile. I don't see any point in that right now. If I have another card that says maybe I can draw cards, then it's a good idea to know what's there. But So I think that's it for us. I will take the initiative and we go to the next round where Draco... Well, let's see. Well, I will draw two cards, first of all. I get my investors. Oh, that requires 10 of something. And this requires a station with no attack, which I do have. I don't have any attack in this. What, 10 symbols? I have four, five. I have nine. So I'd rather claim this because that's three points, right? Draco will get his two cards. And he gets his investors. That is two rockets. Oh, he has one. So maybe he can pull that off. And that is five shields. And he only has one right now. We'll see how that goes. It's my turn. And I think... Let's see, I do want to get some more... Oh, we, I got these. The armor. They are really good. And that was lucky drawing two of those. So basically I could do... Hmm. I could do something like... This. I guess. Because if I do this, I have two armor in that. It's a bit risky. If he destroys this, it will hurt all my my station, my station, modules in my station. But then again, I have two armor. That's pretty strong. And I have all this energy. 
and I get a crew. So I think I'll do that. So that's my third module that I'm putting down. And then let's see, Draco, he is, well, he also got a reactor, but, and he didn't get a ship. That was sad for him. I think he will go like, hmm. Yeah, I think he will go, I think he will save that. And he will go like this, and he will just boost up his big module here. So now he has a, let's see, he has two energy, he has the ship, but he has three crew and he has his first point there as well. So that's good for him, but he can't claim any of these. That's so annoying for him. <sighs> Poor Draco. Well, I can claim this because now I have 10 symbols, 10 production of something. So that goes in here and it pushes this to the left, but I can have three cards. So now I'm up to four, five points, six points in total. So I'm doing really good here. And then we will continue to do this until the deck runs out. The deck has, of course, a bunch of different cards. Like this one has attack. There's text on them as well. This could, this is a good attacking card. And this could be combined with other, like these two together. If we discard this one and add a turret, then that would be a total of three uh, attack points or attack power. We have, you know, different cards. And I love the artwork, by the way, on these cards. Uh, I just think they look awesome. So uh, yeah, and there's this, I think I think I like this game better on three players or, or maybe four. I haven't tried on four to be honest. But on two, it's a bit swingy. It could be the situation where some, you know, if I get lucky, I draw the right cards like you saw here, then Draco really has a hard time catching up. But on three players, of course, it's going to balance out because then maybe both players would be attacking me because they see I'm in the lead and so on. And I think it's a really fun system with this whole points system here where you can you know, send cards, point cards over to your opponents and that will push out the good high scoring cards. That's a good way to catch up as well. So overall, I think Orbital Conflict is a cool game. I'm really happy that I got the chance to film it and I hope you enjoyed the run through. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you did like it and have a great evening or morning or whenever you're watching. Take care. Bye bye. Do you want to keep this little dragon this happy all day long? Then like the video.